Hey everyone, welcome back to another rewind plan with me and another vlogmas video, which is super exciting. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, definitely check out the vlogmas day one video where I explain it a little bit more, but I'm still incorporating planner videos in there, so don't fret, I still have these coming. So this is my rewind spread or my memory keeping spread from the week of November, I have a hair, ew, uh, November 20th through the 26th, is that right? It's so right, that's so weird. Anyway, this was Thanksgiving week. So I have my kit here from Crest Press. This is the Friendsgiving mini kit. When I purchased this originally, I had, didn't think we were traveling anywhere at all for Thanksgiving. So I was like, oh, we're gonna spend it with our friends. It's gonna be a Friendsgiving, like whatever, party. But we did end up traveling. So I do have this as a mini kit, which is awesome still because I don't have to incorporate really like the friends box or anything but i still think this is a really cool kind of like modern thanksgiving kit so because this is a mini kit it did come with these little little things here it also did come with an extra here which is this huge double box which i will not be using but it does have two black friday stickers a happy thanksgiving sticker and then like a sort of a sidebar sticker which i might use in place of my like work sidebar um, for all the places we went on Black Friday, which I thought would be kind of fun. Then you have your normal front page with icons, functional deco, heart checklist, flags, weekend banner, yada yada. Your full boxes, which again are really super modern. I love like the pumpkin pie. I think it's really cute and like lots of gold and marble. And then you have this mini kit sheet here with some quarter boxes, half boxes, scallop labels, my fave, headers, bill do, daily habit, two appointment labels, heart checklist, and a weekly checklist or weekly ombre. And then your bottom washi and like tons of deco page. So I'm super excited to be using this kit. In all of my rewind spreads, let me get my phone, I answer a question. So if you want a, to me to answer your question in my next spread, um, please leave it down below. And the one with the most thumbs up, I will answer. I don't think a lot of people asked that many questions um, this past one because I did like a double because I hadn't been doing rewinds for like a minute. Um... But the one that has the most thumbs up here has 16 thumbs up from Angie Fryman. And it says, if you could design your ideal kit, what theme would it be and what would it consist of? Which is actually a really good question. So I obviously, not designed, but I did have a lot of like feedback in our wedding kit which is the forever and always kit from spc um i love that kit that's one of my like all-time favorites um obviously because it's my wedding kit it's just like i don't know it's, it's pretty much exactly what my wedding was like so i love that kit but if i could design any kit whoo, i'm gonna put black right on top of this um i'm gonna use the brown one that's a really great question actually I would, I don't know, I feel like it would have to be something to do with Avery, I swear it would, because like everything is about Avery in my life. Um, sorry if you can hear my husband, he's like squealing behind me, like okay, didn't realize we were 10 years old. Um, sorry, I'm like so mean to him sometimes. Mm, I don't know, I feel like I would want to incorporate like a lot of things that remind me of Avery, so maybe I would do something that's like similar to what her birthday party was last year, which was like a unicorn theme. So maybe I would do like a little girl with like a crown and then like sort of like a unicorn theme that was like basically what her party was like maybe with like rainbow and like sprinkles and stuff. I know that seems like very opposite of me, but like I kind of feel like that's what I would go for because like, I don't know, I love that. But let me think on this for a second. I might have another idea later. So that got kind of messed up, but it's okay. So I have my full boxes. Oh, I didn't even do the sidebar washi. Let me, yeah, I have time to think. So yeah, I would probably do something to do with Avery. If I couldn't do Avery and I could just do something like that was very reminiscent of me, I would, I don't know. That's tough because like, of course I would want to do something like fun and like, I don't know, traveling. Maybe like a beach themed kit. Which is funny because like By the Sea was one of my favorite kits from SPC for like the longest. But maybe like a beach themed, like a friends go to the beach kind of kit with like the ocean and like umbrellas. And like maybe like two or three girls, like I love fashion girls. So two or three girls like lounging on the beach with like cocktails and like, you know, like big hats and sunglasses. And maybe, like, one of the full boxes could be, like, a little boy and a little girl, like, playing in the water. Or, like, building a sandcastle. That would be really freaking cute. Um, 
what else and then like the double box could either be the girls laying out by the pool or it could be like they're like uh, I don't want to say table set up but like maybe if they went to like a touristy attraction <laughs> a touristy town it could be like the table of like their restaurant with like sandwiches and like you know like picnic kind of style food but they also have like alcohol and like a little radio because like I used to live in a beach town I know what I brought to the beach I brought a radio and I brought a little Dr. Pepper because I wasn't legal when I lived in my beach town I turned 21 here in Austin but um yeah I would do something like that I feel because I love the beach and I think that would be a lot of fun if I couldn't do that I would do a Disney kit for sure but there are a lot of really great Disney kits out there Maybe like a Disney food kit. Like what if it was like a pure Disney kit and it was just like Disney foods. Like the turkey leg and like one of the Rice Krispie treats. And oh my god, and a churro. Don't talk to me. I'm in a mood. I want to eat all the Disney food right now. That would be awesome though. I think that would be like my ideal kit. But like I have so many ideas. But like they always come to me at like the most sporadic times. Like in the middle of the night and I'm just laying in bed and I'm trying to fall asleep. And I'm like oh my god. You know what would be a great kit idea? <laughs> like my Brian makes fun of me. But like my life is stickers okay. Just like let me be. Like I know some of you feel the same as me. So it's okay. We're like in the same same boat. But I think those are cute kit ideas. I don't know. <laughs> you might not. I need a new board. This is like punctured. Uh, oh yeah, this is what my uh, spread last week turned out like. I'll show you guys the other ones when I open back up my Kate Spade, but yeah, I think the beach idea would be cool. I just have to think of like the little deco pieces now. Now I'm interested. Now I want this damn beach kit. <laughs> like, hook me up somebody. Um, other than that, I also have been really craving like an X-Files like situation. Whether it be like deco or like a full kit. Especially because the X-Files is coming back. Like, can we take a second? Like, I know January, like the first week of January, this is going to happen. Where like we're going to have to take a minute during my, like, my weekly spread. Because I'm going to have like a moment to just breathe. But like, can we take a second? Because the X-Files is coming back. It's my favorite show ever. Like all time favorite show. Hands down. My absolute favorite show ever. Um, I started watching X-Files two summers ago. No, last year. I watched it last year. Um, I binge watched the entire thing. Uh, thinking, f I mean, I knew that they were maybe going to do another season. But, like, I wasn't, like, you know, I don't know. I was content with them ending it semi where they ended it. I could have lived. It's okay. But, like, oh my god. When they announced another season, I cried. Like, I literally was sitting on the couch. I was scrolling through Twitter. I follow both Jillian Anderson and David Duchovny on Twitter. And they tweeted it. And I, like, I almost cried. Like, well, I did cry. I kind of teared up a little. But Brian was like, okay, calm down. But I was not calm. Favorite show ever. Like, hands down. My all-time favorite. Anyway, so there's that. X-Files kit, please. Thank you. Can someone just, like, get on that? That'd be cool. Okay, so there's that. Um, full boxes. Okay. So, on Monday, the only thing really was, um, laundry and groceries, really basic stuff, nothing crazy. Um, so let's do a piece that I don't mind, or I don't want to cover really, but also, like, kind of will get covered. So I'm going to put this in the middle, and let's do, should I do appointment labels? Yeah, let's do some appointment labels. Why? Why not, right? And then I'm going to grab a couple pieces of washi. If you can hear Avery, she's just like chatterboxing in the background. Just telling a story. It's okay. I like hearing her talk, though, so I'm not going to, like, go out there and yell at her or anything. Um, so then I'm going to put a little piece of washi down here. I don't think I need another piece, so I'll wait. And I'll flip this one. I don't think I need another piece. No, I'm fine. Put this one in okay I hate doing that sorry uh for laundry I really just want to use up this freaking once more with love sheet so I'm gonna use the washing machine <laughs> it's green but it's, it's fine it's fine it's fine putting that there groceries again I have another once more with love sheet I was in that stack so I have this grocery sheet here where I am going to use the grocery cart like that 
that was Monday. Tuesday, we packed, and then we did a quick mall run. We originally went because we needed to get, I was going to get presents for my family before we left, and I just went quickly to get a couple of things. But while we were there, we also found a couple of other things for presents for people, so that worked out well for us. Um, so again, I'm just going to use a piece that I don't really necessarily want to cover too much because... So I'm going to put this one up top for the mall run. I'm going to use a quarter box. So I'm going to grab a piece of washi. Find out here. I have a hair that's just really annoying me. I think that was an Avery hair too. Um, I'm going to use a quarter box then. I'm going to use this like light beige-ish one. Oh, do I need another piece of washi? I feel like I can make this work. So I'm just going to make it work. And that's for the mall run. Packing, I'm going to use this once more with love sheet. This is actually like a travel sheet, but I thought that this little suitcase was cute. So I'm going to grab that with... I'm going to use one of the little things. Because we have a ton of these, so I might as well. I'm going to use a brown little thing. I don't. It truly does not matter which one it is. This one is a heart, in case you were curious. I'm flipping it upside down, and I'm going to put the suitcase on top. And then for the mall run, I have, again, Once More With Love. I was in the Once More With Love character sticker section, so that's what I'm using. Uh, these are the shopping spree ones. It wasn't necessarily a sale, but I'm going to use the sale sticker anyway because it's cute. Okay. Wednesday, we flew to Utah, which is where my mom and my stepdad are currently stationed. And then we had Olive Garden for dinner because we got there around dinner time, and I was on the way home. And then we all stayed up except for Avery until like 2 a.m. talking and like having a great time and it was the best. So I am going to grab a full box. Again, one I am not particularly fond of, even though I love all of these, but just because I know I can cover it. I'm gonna put this one at the bottom. For flying to Utah, I think I'm gonna use a full box, or not a full box, excuse me, a half box. I will put in a plain icon for flying to Utah in case that cut me off at a weird place. For Olive Garden, I'm thinking again, I'm going to use another little thing. These seem to work really well. I'm going to use a gold one, putting that backwards again. And I have the munchkins. I have the ones that are eating. I believe these are discontinued, but I'm just going to grab the fork and spoon. I love these. And then what I say up until 2 a.m., which was such an awful idea because I'll explain, but it was seriously like the worst idea ever. Um, I think I kind of want to use a scalloped label. Yes. I love scalloped labels. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. And for that, I have, again, the munchkins with, like, these are, like, the mad munchkins, but I love the wide eye. Oh, no, I like this one. The one that's, like, it almost looks like it's yawning, but it's, like, probably yelling. But that's cute. So I'll do that. So that was an awful idea because Thursday morning we woke up at 7 a.m. to do a turkey trot. I don't know how all of us woke up. Avery was perfectly fine because she went to bed early, but all of us were, like, dragging our feet. It was funny. So we did the turkey trot. Uh, we had our Thanksgiving dinner. And then immediately after, we all went out to shop um, at the outlets, which was so much fun. So much fun. Um, it, it was a lot of fun. I had a great time. So I'm going to use this full box here. I think I'm actually going to use maybe two half boxes. I'm not too sure. I think actually for the turkey trot, I'm going to use a quarter box because it's like, it's important, but it's not that important. Um, so I'm going to use this peach, peach quarter box here. Oh, geez, Louise. And then I'm going to use, that's Avery. And then I'm going to use this Fox and Cactus running stickers. I use this in my main planner as well. So I'm going to put that in right there. And then for Thanksgiving, I think, oh, do I really just want to use a ton of like half boxes right now? Because I kind of do. Um, Thanksgiving, I am going to use a half box because it's Thanksgiving. Um, the sticker that I used in my main planner, I really wanted to use again. It was from the Glam Planner. This was one of the teeny subscription stickers of the couples eating Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to use the Bippity Couple because that's what I look like and that's what Brian looks like too. And I'm going to put us kind of in here. I always don't center it well, but it's fine. And then another quarter box then for shopping at the outlets. Heck yes. Because that was so much freaking fun. Um, we, I'm going to use the Once More With Love holiday shopping sticker for that. I'm going to use the one, like, shopping with the present. Anyway, what I was going to say. So, um, 
we originally went to like Old Navy because like I love Old Navy and they have great sales. And then we went to the outlets which was like a little bit away. And we went at like 7 which is when Carter's opened. I really wanted to go to Carter's but nothing else opened until like 9pm. But the amount of time that the line was in Carter's, like I was waiting in line forever. Um, well, we didn't get there at 7. I think we got there at like 7.30. But I was in line for almost an hour. So by the time I was out of the Carter's line, it was 8.30. And the people behind me were talking about how like she was with her husband. And she was like, go get in line for coach. Go get in line for coach. Like you need to go right now. And he was like, okay, there's like a line. So I'll go get right now. And I was like, what is going on? And I knew my mom loved coach. So when I got out of line, it was 8.30, and I walk over to my family, and I was like, hey, mom, like, what's going on at Coach? Like, why is there already a line? She was like, oh, it's 70% off. I was like, huh? So she is so, like, timid when it comes to shopping for herself. Like, she's very, like, fam family-oriented. So I basically, like, was talking to my stepdad. I called my dad, and I, like, pulled him aside, and I was like, does she, like, really want to go, or is she, like, saying she doesn't want to go? He was like, no, she wants to go, but, like, she'll do whatever you guys want to do. And I was like, hey, Mom, let's go get in line. So we got in line, and we waited, like, 30 minutes or whatever while everyone else, like, hung out. And we go in. We're, like, one of the first in, which is awesome. And I tell my mom. I give her this game plan. I'm like, Mom, pick up every single thing you want because, like, you don't want to go back to it and it not be there. And she's like, okay. Like, she was super timid. So we all separate when we get in there. And I meet up with my mom and I'm like, hey, did you find anything? Homegirl is holding, like, five things. <laughs> I was like, okay, mom, <laughs> calm down. And, but she ended up buying four things and I was, like, really proud of her, which I know sounds, like, really weird, but she's never like that. She always buys stuff for other people. So I was super proud of her. So I'll write all the shops in here. But I did Old Navy, Carter's, Coach, J. Crew. Where else did I shop? J. Crew. Brian did H and M a little bit. Where's Coach J. Crew? J. Crew. J. Crew. I always want to say J. Crew plans because of Jessica. Uh, J. Crew. There was another place, wasn't there? I can't remember. But those are the main places we went. Okay, so that was Thursday. Friday, we went back to the outlets because Brian wanted to go to H&M, but H&M didn't open until midnight, and we were not going to stay. We all met Santa as a family, and then later that night, we played Cards Against Humanity as a family as well. So that was super fun. Sorry, I had to tell you a little story because, like, I love my mom, and she's, like, precious, so I just, like, have to share with her, with you guys, how much I love my mom. So there's that. Um, for, I don't know, I think I'm just going to put washi, honestly, because... I can put most of these things with like flags and stuff. So I'm going to use these large pieces of washi just to build up a little scene here. Although this isn't a scene, it's just washi. Bloop. And then here. Okay, so back to the outlets. I'm going to use a flag. I think that'll be funny. And... I'm going to use another shopping sticker. I actually think I'm going to use the shopping bag from the kit. Like that. And then, what I say? Meet Santa. So we'll do a flag for Santa. We'll do the brown flag here. Okay, okay, okay. Can we not? Thanks. Okay, and then for that, I have the Once More With Love Holiday Deco Sheet. Um, I'm going to use... There's a lot of these like little hearts, which I kind of love. So let me do the little candy cane heart for meeting Santa, which Avery kind of did okay. So I'm kind of excited for this year's Santa picture. And then we played Cards Against Humanities, Humanities, Humanity uh, that night with my family. So I haven't used these yet, but these are the board game stickers from Crest Press, or oh my god, from Once More With Love that I really want to use. So I'm going to use the peach flag. There's no like cards um, sticker, but... Okay, that's fine. I think I'm going to use the game night, and I'll use the gray game night. I think that's cute. Okay, so there's that. And then Saturday, we flew home super, super early. I was, like, really sad all day because I did not want to leave my family. And then we all fell asleep by 6.30 that night, which is crazy. So I'm going to grab... Um, let's do this one. I'm going to do the pumpkin pie again. I'll do it up there. I'll do it down here because I think I'm going to do a half box for flying home. Although I did use the last, oh my gosh, the last airplane. That was scary. Oh no, I think Avery's getting yelled at. Okay, sorry. I thought Avery was getting yelled at, but Brian's yelling at his like friend. Well, he's not yelling, but he's playing video games, so he's yelling at his friends. Okay, sorry about that. So for flying home, I'm going to use this brown half box up here. I was in such a frantic that I put this full box sticker on crooked. Okay, 
And then again, I don't have any flight or fly stickers, plain, plain stickers, because I just use the one. So let's use the house since we flew home. And then it was a sad day. So because it was sad, I have the ones more with love munchkins that are sad. I'm going to use the like cry ones because I was like really upset this day. I did not want to go home. Or, I mean like I did, but I didn't, you know. Like now that I'm home, I'm happy to be home. But like at the time, I was like, I just want to stay with my parents. Okay, so I'm going to do the little sad munchkin. And then, like I said, we all fell asleep by 6.30. So I'm going to use a little, a little, little thing. Put it in backwards again. And then for falling asleep again, I have the munchkins that are super sleepy. So I'm going to do the one that says so tired. Because I feel like that's pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, and then Sunday, the only thing we did was meal prep. And I packaged my giveaway prizes. So I think I am going to use the quote this day. And do kind of like a half box, but do both items in the half box. So that way I'm not taking up too much space. So let's use the gold half box. And for meal prep, again, the munchkins cooking. And then for packaging the giveaway prizes, I have Happy Mail stickers. So I'm going to grab the envelope. And then the munchkin cooking this like mush looking stuff. So I'm going to put that munchkin here and the envelope down here. So that is the week. So I'm going to go ahead and do the last full box up top here like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And then the last thing I need to put in is my 52 week savings tracker which is on my lap. Okay, this is from KPL Plans. This was week 47, so I'm just going to place that in right there. And that is it for the stickers. So I'm going to go ahead then. I don't think I'm going to do any deco. There's just way too much going on here. But I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and fill everything out using my Papermate Inkjoy Gel 0.7 in brown. And I'll be right back to show you guys the finished spread. Okay, so here is the finished spread. I think it turned out super cute. I love the gold. I didn't know how much I would like it, but I think it's really, really pretty mixed in with the oranges, the peaches, and the browns. So this is this was such a fun week. I loved this. Um, and in case you guys wanted to see the past two weeks, because I did do a rewind but not fill them out on camera, this was the week before, and then this was the week before that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's rewind plan with me. Be sure to leave me questions in the comments below, or if you see a question that you love, make sure to thumbs it up. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.